Plastic pollution is one of the greatest environmental challenges of our time. We want to understand how toxic plastics may cause harm on our lives. Can such harm be inherited through the parents? We specifically ask how plastic exposure impacts brain development in the next generation. The sooner we take the precautions of plastic exposure in the younger generations, we can prevent the progressive neurodevelopmental disorders from passing on to the next generations. We're addressing the problem of how harmful chemicals used in plastics can impact on us and on our offspring through using an animal model and zebrafish embryos. Zebrafish embryos develop outside of the mother, very easy to study, and yet they are very similar in their development to human. At the same time, using zebrafish embryos, we do not cause harm, do not cause pain to animals. So in the Institutional Links Collaboration Project, we were able to show and demonstrate molecular mechanisms which are involved in how uh, exposure to chemicals used in plastics cause developmental problems in embryo uh, development. While most of the UK funding agencies primarily support local research or perhaps research in collaboration with the traditional partners, mainly in the EU, there is little opportunity to work together with partners from Turkey. This now has arisen, arisen from uh, the Newton Fund opportunity. If we win, we will use the prize money to expand our research by improving the infrastructure of our laboratory in Turkey. We believe by winning, we would be able to draw the attention of the general public to the dangers of exposure to harmful chemicals may represent. This developing perception is expected to attract the attention of manufacturers, leading to the removal of these harmful chemicals from their products.